what's up everybody this is pop culture junkie back again and we are doing a brand new box on the channel we're checking out the rpg crate and let me introduce jordan again Woo and jordan decided to get the rpg crate and he's going to share with us for another unboxing okay we've done boxes with him before but uh go ahead take it away tell me what the rpg box is because i'm not familiar with rpgs that much well, RPG Crate is a box full of nerdy D and D like stuff. I mean, I think I mean obviously we got the the D and D stuff, Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeon Master stuff in the background. Uh, now, me, of course, you know, I grew up in the eighties, and I had friends that were into the D and D stuff, and I just never got into it. I was all about video games, and even the D and D style video games I didn't get into. <laughs> like Final Fantasy, I always considered it to be kind of like D and D related. And I never got into that much either. So, like, I was all action, Mario, Zelda, that kind of thing. But when, when, like, when did you first start doing this? Like, when, when did you first get into D&D &D or any kind of RPG stuff? I mean, when it comes to D&D, &D, I just started doing it last year. Mm -hmm. And after my first few sessions in our campaign that I was doing, I fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. And then I was kind of shoved <clears throat> to the DMing scene. Right. So... Now I'm DMing our campaign that we run. Yeah, yeah so give you a little background. Like uh, a group of friends of ours uh, decided, uh, it's what, it's been a year and a half? About a year and a it's half. It's been a year and a half now, actually, yeah. So about a year and a half ago, a group of friends, and some of those are like hardcore into the D&D, into the &D, way hardcore than, than I've ever gotten into it. Uh, and they really like it, and they wanted to join, you know, wanted all of us to get together and play. So once a week, we've been meeting for about almost every week, maybe skip a week every so on. We play uh, Dungeons and Dragons, and we had a different DM at first. And now Jordan's been doing the DMing for about a couple months now. Roughly. Yeah, because our original DM was like, "I'm bored of DMing. I want to play." <laughs> so here you go, Jordan. I was yeah. like, oh, "Okay, cool. I guess." Yeah. So yeah, and I you've figured. had some crazy uh, storylines. Crazy. What do you call it? Because again, I'm I'm crazy terrible campaign at the, stuff. campaigns. There you go. Because yeah. I'm terrible at the lingo. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But I figured since I'm going to be DMing for a while now, I go ahead and do RPG Create and mm -hmm. expand my DMing capabilities. Got accessories. Got to yeah. more, got more accessories. And uh, I want you to show that off though, because okay, D60. like like you said, you started this, you started DMing or you started doing D and D a year year and a half ago when we all started doing it, and none of us had dice. Mm -hmm. And these are my dice here. So oh, this one, and, yeah, these are my my two sets of dice I use every every uh, time we play. But Jordan's collection has been growing. Every time we get together, he's got another set of dice. I think I have about fourteen sets right now. Yeah. Plus my D sixty that's turned into our giggity die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every time somebody says giggity, we roll to see how effective it was. Exactly. <laughs> and then uh, check out those the new ones. Those are like metal ones. Oh right? yeah, the metal ones. These guys, first of all, are sharp. Second yeah. of all, one of my favorite sets that I have. And they're, <laughs> like, you can really they're hear. Yeah, they're heavy. They're making <laughs> yeah. yeah. So those are pretty sweet. RPGcrate.com, if you want to subscribe. And then you said it was how much? Uh, it's $30. Okay. I think 30 plus shipping. Okay. But with this, they describe it as a natural 20 for 30 And I definitely like it. It gives you, most of the time, a t-shirt, but guaranteed three one-page adventures and sometimes minis sometimes dice sometimes little cards and stuff you can use i know one of the past months they had a beyond critical failure cards where whenever you roll a one you actually pick from the card and find out what happens okay. so instead of just getting your axe stuck or something like that you can accidentally chop off your toe <laughs> and take one damage it's it's interesting and they have new stuff every month it, it's a lot of fun. Man, we watched a lot of unboxing videos uh, not too long ago to try to see what kind of things were going to be in these and they looked really good and they're actually like some, it, to me they looked like something that you're definitely getting your money's worth oh yeah definitely so, plus uh, lately they've been doing the t-shirts is always one of the themes from one of the three page adventures which I find mm -hmm. cool because mm -hmm. whenever I run one of those adventures I'm going to be wearing the t-shirt with pride and be like yeah <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, hey, let's go ahead and open it up. Let's yep. see what we got. Let's see what we got. So, firstly, we got our little cheat sheet that tells you everything. And this month's theme was Lost and Found. We'll go ahead and put that to the side because I want to see everything not spoiled. Yeah. And looks like we've got a t-shirt. That looks like a graveyard theme, maybe? <laughs> I'm not 100% yeah, sure. Yeah, I see like a... 
Let's bring it a little closer there. So yeah, zombies and yeah, looks like a tomb Ooh. in the back. Yeah, I can't wait to do that adventure because I'm definitely a big fan of like the necromancy zombie stuff as far as villains. And then it's an exclusive shirt right there. It's got yeah, their logo. RPG crate. Cool. Yeah, I'm definitely down for that. Next up, let's see, we got a little bag. Yes, these are effing cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're effing cool miniatures, and they're all metal. They actually have some pretty good weight to them. I know me and my girlfriend are gonna be painting these as a hobby every month after this. Okay, that's pretty sweet. You can do that. Yeah, and then okay. hopefully after a while, I'll actually build up enough minis to introduce them into the campaign instead of just doing everything from imagination. So you got kind of like a druid. To me, this looks like a druid, almost like a well, druid with a dagger, and, and then, then like some a kind of spell tome. Yeah, that looks that's really cool. Well, these guys, I'm excited to maybe make these guys into a villain, or if a player wants to step into one of these roles. Yeah, nice. I have no idea. Card or cards? It looks like player cards, maybe? It's got the that, strength, the dex, con, and... Bring it down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, passive perception. You see HP. Maybe these are little player cards to... For the game that comes with it, maybe? For the, the Oh, one page. I think these are initiative cards. Okay. So it makes it easier to actually keep track of your initiative whenever you're actually in battle. Okay. That could be helpful. Yeah. Yeah, that way instead of having to use online resources and having to type in things mm -hmm. all the time, I can just write down y'all's things with like maybe dry erase marker or something. Okay, so name, initiative, and then strength, yeah, dexterity. AC, yeah, okay. Let's see, we got, there's like more cards here. Ah! Book Looks like bookmarks. Okay. That yeah, they're all real stylized and stuff. I like this a lot. It comes in handy instead of putting a whole bunch of sticky notes on a book sometimes. A lot prettier. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I'm excited for that. And... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Campaigns. Yes. These are the one-page adventures. And they actually have something that's really cool. So if you're looking for a way to introduce these one-page adventures to your campaign, they have a... Uh, a PDF you can download online called Tales from the Bloody Bucket. That's basically a way to introduce all of these, and it's RPG crates. So you could introduce like thing. a campaign you have going now. You could introduce this in the middle. Well, you can either introduce these into the middle, or you can just do these adventures through mm -hmm. the Tales from the or Tales from the Bloody Bucket. Oh, okay. That's so cool. it's basically like meeting in a tavern and telling all these stories and stuff. It's it's pretty these cool. These are like laminated too. That's yeah, nice. these are laminated. They're nice. They got the yeah. maps on the back. Yeah, I'm excited to use these, especially on nights whenever not all of us are there. We can just have yeah. one of these real quick. Or if we don't want to do the normal campaign, take a break, we can just have some fun with a quick one. Yeah. Yeah. And considering there's three of them, that can be three weeks worth of material for yeah. us because we meet once a week. Yeah, definitely. And then uh, this right here is my favorite part. Every box has some sort of adventure or actual hard side slash soft side book. Nice. This one's the Book of Lost Spells and it's by Necromancer Games. It's a third party publisher for D&D &D conversion stuff. And I know I have a lot of their P or PDFs online. I've actually got this one as a PDF, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be a lot easier instead of having to scroll through my phone or computer to actually flip through the pages. And what this does is it actually takes a bunch of spells that are not being used in D&D &D anymore or reimagine some of the older spells and puts them into the new fifth edition format. Okay. So like right here we have Hornet Wall where you literally summon a wall of hornets. And that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. And they got like Icy Hammer. It's a druid spell. You can actually summon a hammer to use it by yourself instead of having mm -hmm. to carry your own weapons. I just think that's really cool. Right. And it's got illustration and everything. I'm excited to be able to use these and actually introduce these into our regular campaign. Yeah, totally. I know yeah, right here they actually have all the spells okay, listed for uh, every class and each level as well, nice. which is definitely helpful too. Yeah, and I am I'm super excited to actually have a physical copy of this instead of just a PDF. Yeah, a lot easier. Yeah. That's pretty sweet and hardcover. Nice. Yeah, hardcover. I mean, it's got a, it's got forty dollar retail price, and you and paid twenty nine ninety nine for this plus you got everything else. That's insane. Mm -hmm. That's a yeah. That's a really good deal. That's already more than the worth of the box. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. And then Last one every box, favorite. you get dragon foam. Why well, it's called dragon foam? I don't know if y'all can see it right there, 
but it's mm -hmm. actually got little squares that way if you want to put your miniatures or anything inside a box and actually make a case instead of just putting them in a bucket or anything like that you can actually set the miniatures down and it'll form to them and you can make your own mini box huh which That's i definitely sweet. enjoy that's because pretty. you can also take these and either rip them off and resize them or whatever as well. Which, after I get enough miniatures to introduce them to the campaign, instead of driving around with a bucket, rambling yeah. around with a bunch of little minis, I'd like to Keeps have a safe, then, too. safe case for it. Yeah. Yeah, me, if I, had, if I had subscribed to this box, I would have just thrown that away thinking it was just fun. The only reason why I know is because I watched the unboxings before. Now right. let's go with the little card and see what, how they describe everything. Okay, so first we have the exclusive t-shirt. Which, of course, we got right here. Yeah. We have the Premier Metal Miniatures. Effin' Cool. Yeah, Effin' Cool Effin Miniatures. Cool. Yes. Which I think is one of my favorite <laughs> company names <laughs> ever. Absolutely love that. Yeah. Then we've got the Dragon Foam, of course, which is at the bottom. We have the Book of Lost Spells right here. The Initiative Tracker. I think that's what this actually okay. was. So, yeah, because it's got the initiative, the way they describe it is... Uh, initiative trackers with a purpose and dry erase compatible. So yeah, mm -hmm. I goes in before. So you can put dry them. erase stuff on there. You can reuse them for especially big battles. Cool. I know the campaign that we're running. Our first actual encounter was twenty five people, <laughs> and that took me about ten minutes to set up, and that was not fun to have to keep track of that. So having yep. some cards at least with some of the main characters is going to help a lot. Yeah. Next up is the bookmarks, of course. Which now that we have the. Uh, actual one-page adventures they're all themed after the yeah. one-page adventures which i think makes them a lot more cool i think so too yeah yeah and then of course we have the adventures on the open road which is their ones right now okay yeah that's that's pretty cool this is a great box and i mean it's not for everybody because not everybody's into D D. but if you are into D D, especially if you're into box. dming a campaign this could really really help mm -hmm. or if you're a player and you're looking to maybe start but don't know where to start mm -hmm. this stuff can help you have a strong start yeah totally because you can just if you never don't you know like i've seen the the book that uh that cory has it's fifty dollars that's yeah, insane so. investment if you've never played this and you're not sure if you're going to get into it or not then at least you can get some brief campaigns for practice and you got a book there with all the different uh stats you need to know you got accessories you got the miniatures which i've seen those miniatures i'm not saying that brand but i've seen the miniatures at different shops they go anywhere between like eight or nine dollars up to what 20 something i mean yeah, I've it seen depends them. they have some big miniatures out there that can be up to 20 bucks i know the average mini probably around this mm -hmm. size is three bucks each maybe okay. for like one of these guys mm -hmm. so the fact that you get three of them right here is really nice mm -hmm. but i know Especially if you're trying to get into DMing a campaign or maybe don't know what D&D is. There's a lot of free resources to learn how to play the game. And then mm -hmm. you can get one of these guys and see whether you actually either like to DM or even like D&D in general. Yeah, totally. Which is definitely a good thing where you spend 30 bucks as opposed to 100 plus on a bunch of books trying to learn how to play. I like it a lot, actually. Yeah, yeah I think I... it's a definitely a good tool. I'm, yeah. I'm really going to be subscribing to this every month. And instead of doing my older boxes that I've done in the past, I think I'm just going to stick with this. Cause yeah, because unfortunately we didn't bring this up. Previously, y'all have seen Jordan here for Gamer Block. And unfortunately... Nerd Block went bankrupt or something. I don't, I don't know what happened to them. They didn't but. know how to handle their funding, apparently, because have you seen the list of people they owe money to? They owe a lot of money to they a, owe millions a lot of to companies. to what feels like millions of people. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Unfortunately, no more, no more Gamer Block uh, unboxings. But this, is, this is a step up. Yeah, this box, they've been out for, I think they just hit their one-year anniversary either one month or two months ago. So mm -hmm. it's a fairly new box, but mm -hmm. definitely good quality. And I, from what I've seen of their other boxes that they've had out, it's always something good, always something interesting. It never seems to be a hit or a miss for me. It's always, this looks cool. I wish I could buy that box. And on their website, they also have it to where you can buy older boxes. So this one right here is the August box. I think by September or by... November they'll have this box mm. for sale on their website that way yeah. if you want these miniatures or the book of lost spells physical copy you can actually go get it on their website nice. and even better than that if you don't want to buy a full box they also have all of these adventures 
they have each pack from each month available. I think they're seven fifty for three, mm -hmm. and sometimes four. And you can go buy the actual one page adventures, even if you don't want to get the full box. That's even better. That's a yeah. That's a good al alternative. But yeah. So again, yeah, this was the August box, uh, which of course we're in September, but of course you know we're in Houston and we're dealing with a lot of weather issues, and so that kind of got delayed. We would have had this probably you know what a week ago maybe. Yeah, but I'm not an yeah. Olympic swimmer, so I couldn't <laughs> actually get over here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but thankfully now, I mean, thankfully, you know, the weather's passed us. Now it's just about rebuilding, and there's lots of rebuilding to do. We will rebuild. Yes, we will. Houston <laughs> strong. Houston strong. <laughs> RPG Crate. Go to RPGCrate.com, of course, if you want to subscribe to them and, uh, you know, get a cool box of D&D relatable merchandise. Links are going to be below in the uh, description, so you can uh, click there and then go right to their page and uh, subscribe, and I'll put their other links that they've got. I'm sure they've probably got, like, Facebook, Twitter, or something like that. Uh, uh, those as far links. as I know, they at least have a Facebook. Okay, yeah. there you go. We'll have those in the in the description there so they can check that out, too. Before we go, just want to thank my girlfriend for this little owlbear dice bag. Absolutely love it. <laughs> love you, Melissa. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hey, thanks everyone out there for watching as always. Uh, remember, if you haven't done so already, please give us a thumbs up on the video. Hit that subscribe button so you can check out more content as always. And you can always follow along with me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Links are below in the description. And just click on there and you can check me out on there. All right, well, Jordan, thanks for joining us again yeah. and for a new box. And hopefully we'll see you on next month again because you're going to be getting these boxes. So oh, yeah. hopefully we'll see you the next one, the next one, and the next one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Well, thanks for joining us. Yeah. All right, guys, this is the Pop Culture Junkie and Jordan. We're signing out. Mm -hmm.